Welcome to Learn Robotics and AI and in this video I'll be giving you a list of 10 computer vision projects for absolute beginners. So let's get started. Project number one is that of face detection. You'd be required to detect faces in real time from a web camera feed and you would require to use OpenCV and Python. Python is more than enough if you want to explore computer vision as a beginner. You would be implementing concepts such as hard cascades and some basic image processing techniques and algorithms. The difficulty level uh, for this project is essentially two out of five. It is a relatively simple project to implement and here are a few resources that you can refer to let's have a look at a few of them so face detection using python i have to log in to really access this article so face detection in python using a webcam this is a this is an article or a tutorial by real python and essentially there are a few prerequisites. OpenCV must be installed and you can refer to some of their previous blog posts. So this is a good website that you can refer to for some basic tutorials. And of course, you require a working web camera and the code has been essentially given to you and explained. So this is something that you can refer to. Let's have a look at some other resources here. You can also follow the Insight Face library to essentially perform face detection this is a, uh, this is being actively maintained and you can perform more complex face analysis and landmark detection using this library but essentially it would work for face detection as well so let's look at the third resource which is this blog post by parallect that involves face detection from image and video so this is again a very detailed article and it has also explained the theoretical concepts underlying uh, face detection what are hair based feature hair feature based uh, cascade classifiers how does it work and all these things have been mentioned and along with that the code has been shared so there's something that you can refer to so let's move to number two number two is essentially color filtering so you'd be required to filter a specific color from a video feed so we'd be again using simply opencv and python and we would be implementing and using concepts such as color spaces and thresholding is again a relatively simple project with two out of five difficulty level let's have a look at this article or blog post by pi image search so this is a blog post which involves essentially color detection and this is something that you can refer to for this project. So the PyMet search articles and blog posts are essentially very well documented and very detailed. So this is something that you can refer to. One small point that I'd like to mention here is that do not blindly follow these articles or do not follow these articles or blog posts or tutorials in a step by step manner just refer to these problem statements maybe even refine it and make it even more specific based on your interests and start doing the projects using the tools and applying these concepts you'd be required to google search these concepts and understand these theoretical ideas along the way and if you get stuck only then should you refer to these resources and this is something that i have mentioned also in a lot of my previous videos so make sure you Try to do these projects by yourself, struggle a bit and only refer to the resources if you are unable to find a solution or to verify your solution. Let's look at project number three, which is essentially recognizing text using optical character recognition. So OCR text reader and the goal would be to extract text from an image. So you'd be using Tesseract Python for this, Tesseract and Python for this, and 
OCR and image processing are the basic concepts that would be required. This is a, also a relatively simple project which would, uh, which uh, for which I would give three out of five uh, difficulty. And here's the resource that you can refer to. You can essentially also use OpenCV for that, but here is a different library essentially that you can uh, refer to just so that you can expose yourself to some other uh, libraries and tools. So this is something that you can uh, use. You can uh, refer to the instructions to install Tesseract and then run Tesseracts and essentially perform your task and uh, try to perform a text reading application, try to create a text reading applications, application. So this is project number three. Now let's move on to project number four, which essentially is object counting. So you would be required to count a number of objects of a certain type in an image. And of course here, the image shows that we are tracking, but that essentially requires also counting. So this is one particular application of counting. You can essentially count fruits and vegetables in an image, depending on what kind of image and uh, depending on what kind of da data you refer to and use. So count the number of objects of a certain type in an image using OpenCV and Python and use contour detection and image segmentation algorithms you can refer to some uh, deep learning approaches such as mask rcnn un nets and so on i'm not specifically giving you which algorithms and which particular approaches you should be implementing you essentially need to figure that out by yourself once you start building the project so again a relatively simple project with two out of five difficulty level and here are a, here is a resource that you can refer to again a really nice article by PyMet Search, which essentially talks about object tracking with OpenCV. And this is something that can allow you to essentially also count objects. So a very detailed article that you can refer to and you can also watch the results in this video. So this is a simple project that you can refer to and the fifth project is then optical character recognition and essentially handwriting character recognition. So similar to the project that I mentioned previously, uh, but essentially we are dealing with handwritten objects now, hand, handwriting. So recognize handwritten digits from an image using TensorFlow and Python and you would be using Neural networks and image classification for this, a simple project of three out of five difficulty level. And here's a resource that you can essentially refer to. So let's have a look at this resource. This is a GitHub repository called Handwritten Text Recognition with TensorFlow. And it's relatively simple. The idea is very simple and it's easy to run and use. And it was last maintained in uh, last updated in the previous year, but essentially this is something that you can uh, use to uh, implement this project. So handwritten recognition is project number five and project number six is image st stitching. So if you have been given three different images from three different views and you want to combine those in a panoramic view, this is how the output would look like. and this project essentially requires you to stitch two or more overlapping images together to create a panorama, use OpenCV and Python. And you would require to understand some basic concepts such as feature mapping and homography. Difficulty level is three out of five. And here's another Pi image search resource. So image stitching with OpenCV and Python, this is something that you can directly follow. There's also block diagrams explaining the image stitching algorithm so a good combination of theory and practice again don't follow these blog articles step by step blindly try to do this project by yourself and only then refer to the solution so let's look at the next one which is which is essentially reading QR codes. So for authorizing access in certain 
locations or for certain use cases you need to require uh, to read QR codes from a web camera feed and you would require to use concepts such as pattern recognition and essentially decoding and it, it is also a very basic project and here is a resource let's have a look at this resource now and this is a github repository and a package called QReader and this is a relatively older package but you this should allow you to essentially get familiar with uh, reading QR codes and you can essentially also find similar repositories which are more recent and well maintained but essentially this is the idea to read QR codes from a web camera feed now let's have a look at project number eight which is essentially to recognize traffic signs so you would require to essentially recognize traffic signs in an image and you would use tensorflow and python and you would require also to use neural networks and image classification i accidentally forgot to replace the project state problem statement but essentially the project requires you to recognize traffic signs let's have a look at the resource now so the resource is traffic sign classification with keras and deep learning this is a, another pi image search article you can find tons and tons of computer vision projects on pi image search and you can choose one or more projects that you find interesting so the projects that i am listing here are essentially beginner friendly projects that you can start building without any prior experience project number nine is essentially emotion recognition so you you can record your face using web camera feed and you would require to identify you require to design an algorithm or a machine learning pipeline to recognize emotions such as anger sadness happiness and so on so the goal is to recognize human emotions from facial expressions in a video feed use open cv tensorflow and python facial recognition concepts not mentioning which algorithms you would require uh, but essentially look at different face recognition approaches and different classification uh, pipelines so difficulty level is three and here is another resource that we can refer to so this is a github repository called face and emotion recognition which is four years old but should be relatively simple to implement you can find more recent repositories or resources of this nature so now coming to the next project which is background subtraction so this is something that can be used to eliminate details in the background and essentially can be a way to track objects a very simple idea you need to remove the background from a video feed so use OpenCV and python and concepts such as thresholding and image segmentation a relatively simple project with just a basic idea of thresholding and background subtraction that you can use here and let's have a look at the resource again background subtraction project so this is a, a well-maintained library called BGS library, background subtraction library, and you can essentially see it has been used to um, separate foreground and background and essentially track objects in a way. So here are some details of the algorithm compatibility around uh, across different OpenCV versions and some more details and some more uh, outputs of its uh, usage essentially so that is it these were 10 computer vision projects for absolute beginners i'm not going into too much details of these projects the whole idea is that it should essentially give you a list of beginner friendly projects to just get started with using computer vision libraries such as opencv and tensorflow essentially stick with tensorflow in the beginning do not go for pytorch pytorch can be slightly complicated for if you are just starting out stick with tensorflow opencv and python and this should essentially give you enough uh, reference to just get started with building computer vision projects
so that is it i hope this video was helpful make sure to give your feedback in the comments below i try to keep this video essentially shorter without going into too much details because a lot of my previous videos were too detailed and it might be boring or maybe if you want me to cover more details of each of these projects let me know um, essentially what you find most beneficial